I flew 14 hours from Melbourne, Australia to Los Angeles, California to achieve a lifelong dream of going to my first ever WrestleMania. But did it live up to the hype? Was it everything that I thought it would be? Did I leave disappointed? Well, let's find out. I arrived for the very first time in the United States, feeling no jet lag. I arrived at the hotel, very nice looking hotel, except when I opened the toilet and I found pubes, oh, massive oh pubes God. on my toilet. But hey, let's, let's, you know, we're here for the wrestling. We're here for the big shows. Let's not get that occupied in our minds because here we arrive at the Superstore. Me and Danny Melter, you may know him from my commentary on my matches. And look at this. We saw all this cool memorabilia in the Superstore. Although, unfortunately, I don't think they had as much stuff as they've had at Accesses in previous years, unfortunately. But some pretty cool stuff anyways. Tried on some hats and stuff of that nature. Got some clothing. Met MDT there, which was cool. Filmed some collabs with him. Checked out all the figure reveals. Some really cool stuff in the works from Mattel over there. Great to see it all in person. I can't wait to use them in WSC. But then I had this opportunity to meet one of the goats. Hey, Grim, there's someone here. Little WSC. Oh, and now we got the world stage creator. What's up? What's up, man? And, and I, I'm glad to see you. I know what you look like. I know. Well, <laughs> yeah, not a lot of people do. Me and him, we've been watching it for years, man. It's crazy. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank Big you. Fan. the goat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two goats? Yeah. Three goats? Three goats. Wait, wait. Three goats. We gotta get the three goats. Three actual three goats. This is a Four three goats three and then the goats right here, okay? Look at that. We are the rebels. We are the rogues. We are the ones doing it without corporate backing Major Pod. We are the ones doing it for the real love of the business, Major Pod. <laughs> Well, he's like, I'm not putting that's this a, on my channel. That's not coming out of my mouth. Not, he's a, he's an NPC at that I'll point. Up, I'll up, okay, yeah, yeah go ahead. Just vibe with it. Just hey, vibe with it. Bring us in from GTS. Yeah. Yeah, you guys want to? Well, I kind of want to I want to be a commentator. Let's go. Oh, we're going to have matches. Are we? Whoa. Yeah. Hold up. Dude, you guys are welcome. Wait. I mean, I we can tag team or... Listen, me and Michael just won tag belts outside. Yeah. I just want a U.S. title here. But if you guys came to GTS, oh, could you tag imagine? Team? Dude, that was tag easy. team? Tag team? Yeah! So guys, <laughs> Grimm's Toy Show just challenged the WSC on Shawn Michaels on a ladder match. That's Who y'all got? WSC behind the camera and kid behind the camera. Yeah. What's up? Big fan of this man. Dude, I actually follow you on like, I, I'm sure you see I follow yeah. you on Instagram. I love, this guy's sets are insane. It's oh, thanks, man. Appreciate How long does it take you to do this? Uh, I'm used to it now. I've been doing it for years. It's wild. Like I was like, how the f did he do this? Yeah. It's amazing. It's so cool. <laughs> Thanks, man. Keep doing your vlogs. Yeah, man. I love it, man. Yeah, nice to meet you, man. Nice yeah. to meet you. Okay, guys, we're at WrestleMania SoFi Stadium. The place is huge. Denny, let's get some predictions going. Yeah, let's do it. But hey, let's not make it boring. Let's make it more interesting. Okay? Okay. Let's do it. Whoever has the least accurate predictions okay. out of both nights yeah. gets a chop. Yeah. A wrestling style chop. Yo, you're, gonna, you're gonna get hurt, man, but okay. Nah, Handshake. Bro. Let's go. Okay. It's a deal. It's on. Let's go. He's gonna die. <laughs> now we will finally at WrestleMania night one. Would it live up to the hype? Fire up, baby! So who are you predicting for this sponsored match? I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. 
my head is hurting. I can't even think. But let me see. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go Street Profits. Ah, damn. I don't know. I'm torn Street Profits or Sturman and Ricochet. Mm. I Do feel like they've been getting too much of the spotlight, though. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to have to go with Street Profits. All right, okay, so we got the same thing again. Do it. No, 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 no. He's gonna do it! Ah! Oh, it's going up top! Ron! Oh what the hell? Oh what the hell? Oh, oh! What? 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 Oh! Do it again! Six women tag, who's winning? Listen, if this ain't for the title, we might as well just give it to Becky and them. Becky, Trish, Lita. I think so too. I think we're going to have a lot of the same predictions, but right? I think Becky, Trish, Lita are going to take the win. I'm pretty sure everyone's crying and they're saying, yeah, we'll get to see someone get chopped. <laughs> We already got the other match right with the women. Now we're all tied up. Well, this is gonna change things. Maybe it will because I'm saying Rey Mysterio gonna whoop that ass right now. Yeah? yeah. We're gonna give you Dominic a much needed spanking. To be honest, I kind of want to say that Dom's gonna win. Yeah. So you know what? I'm going with Dom. Oh. All right. First, first ever opposing opinions. Let's go. Oh. Jump in the 619. Let's go for the splash. I need I need Dom to win this for the bet. Come on, Dom!
Mommy, yeah. Rhea Ripley gonna get that because everybody tired of Charlotte, bro. Everybody. I think it's, I think it's pretty clear that Rhea's gonna win this. Yeah. If she don't, I will be actually really shocked. Sammy. He's going for another! Finish him. Finish him. That's it. Yes! Oh, no, no, no. Bro, hit him! No! No, no, no. Wait, no. wait, Jay! Yes! Wait, yes! Wait, yes. Wait, another one! Another one! Three times! Three times! Three times! Three times! Do it! Do it! Do it. Night one was great. Danny was in the lead of the predictions. I do not want to get chopped, but here we go for night two. Big man match. Brock Lesnar versus Omas. Let's get it. All right, who are we predicting? Brock Lesnar. Well, I know one thing for sure. We about to see two big men slapping their sweet. But my prediction, the beast is going to be the one to beat oh. on Omas. Omas is going to get the F5 from Brock. Brock's going to win. Two, three. All right, women's showcase match, who are we predicting? Listen, they've been treating Ronda like some bookie trash lately, all right? She needs she needs a win. She needs something to, to, to bring her propeller up and all that stuff. Bro, we're getting all the same predictions. This is WrestleMania. It seems predictable. But, but it is so, awesome. It is awesome. Awesome yet predictable. Predictable, but like the right choices. So yeah. I'm going Ronda and Shayna. Good booking. Drew McIntyre rocking the white gear, but now it's time for a banger triple threat match. Triple threat, I see title predictions. What do you got, Daddy? You know what, man? I'm thinking that they're gonna make Gunther look- Oh, Claymore! Whoa. Oh, I'm, oh, Prediction. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna still stick to it. They're trying to make Gunther look absolutely unstoppable so that he goes after the world championship. He trades in that intercontinental title and he's like, no, I want the big one. That's my prediction. Okay, you're locked in on Gunther. I'm going with Sheamus because I think they'll have Gunther go after Cody after Mania. Yeah. Two, three. 
I'm trying to go out on a limb and do some unpredictable stuff, but all the predictable winners are winning. Jesus. Guter is a real Chad. He is. Yeah! That entrance went hard, baby. Wow. So Bianca Belair, Oscar, who's going to win? I already said it. Oscar's going to take that because why would they give her a new gimmick just to throw her to the trash? True, but I'm going to go with Bianca Belair because okay. I think she's doing great with the title and I don't see Oscar being the one to beat her. So I'm going with Bianca. And also, our seats got moved. Yeah. Yeah. It's even worse now. There's a giant camera blocking our view. If it goes up, we can see fine. But yeah, still. it's closer to the action, but it doesn't have the right angle, so yeah, we're a bit screwed here. closer to the action, here. but at what cost? Oh! Oh, she missed it! She missed it! Yes! No, get her up! No, 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 get her up! No, no, no. Get her up! Get her up. Yeah, KOD! Yeah. Do it! Don't do it! Do it! No, do it! No, get her up! Oh! head open or something maybe they're stitching it up maybe. and they don't want to show blood
Solo's gonna come out. Solo's gonna come out. Refs down with. Oh, the missiles! No! So Roman Reigns just retained at Wrestlemania. I should have predicted him. Uh, all signs were pointing to him with the whole a thousand days thing. What about you, Danny? He's pretty upset. How do you feel? They chose some bookie ass record over a good story. A you thousand days isn't bookie though. I, I, bro, but he is, it doesn't mean anything. He's not Bruno San Martino. But here's the thing about it. Cody needed to lose because he's undefeated since coming to WWE. He needs to face this adversity as a babyface. So losing actually is going to help him. Because then, the then fans would thing? turn did on they, him. Did them losing mean nothing? No, I mean, they, they kind of had to lose. Doesn't mean everybody has to lose that title straight away. That's the thing. It's like the pillars crumbling of the empire. And then it's like, oh, no, just kidding. Bye. You know, Roman wins, LOL. That's it. Roman wins low. Yeah. So that's it for WrestleMania. What an amazing show it was. I think you know what time it is. <laughs> well, this guy failed the predictions. And, you know, he's got a nice looking figure, huh, ladies? Well, it's about to get <laughs> annihilated. And I know all you pick fed guys out there wanted me to do this for oh. a long time. And I'm going to do it on behalf of all the original pick fetters who hate this guy's guts. This is for you. Look at him squeal. How was that? <laughs> He's riled up. Oh my. I did that. I did that. Yes, sir. I did that with this right here. Despite the temporary red hand on my chest, I had a great time going to Universal and checking out all that it has to offer. And I did a little bit of multiversal title scouting. We got the Mystery Machine, we got Minions, we got Gru, who was a little handy, stronger than he looks, and the dinosaurs of the Jurassic World ride. It was amazing. <laughs> Man, I'm drenched after that. That was so awesome. What do you think? Like... <laughs> Greatest multiversal champion of all time, it's Shrek. It's probably the best burger I've ever had in a long time. Get yourself some crusty burger. from LA from Wrestlemania wearing the LA Wrestlemania Lakers shirt loving it and had a great time at Wrestlemania it was so great to meet 
all of my fellow YouTubers and my fans. It was so great to see you guys and meet you in person. That was really awesome. Highlight of the weekend. Went to, did Universal 2. That was a lot of fun. It's so much fun at my first ever WrestleMania Live. I hope you guys enjoyed the reactions. WrestleMania 40? Will we be going to that? We'll have to wait and see on that. But I had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed the glimpse into my experience of WrestleMania. And as you can see, we, we did a little bit of setting up of the new arena after WSC WrestleMania. Thank you guys for supporting the whole show. We've been working on it for so many months. And now it's finally over. So now it's time to start a new chapter. And we'll have a new figure room tour very, very soon. So thank you guys for watching this video. Smash the like button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.